The development of a treatment for Pompe disease has truly been a collaboration. And when I say collaboration, I just don't mean by physicians around the world. It really has been a collab collaboration between patients, the foundation, the physicians, the scientists, as well as industry in the rare disease space. The Pompe patient community was particularly well organized and their energy, their commitment, their willingness to partner, our willingness to partner, I think, is a big reason that the first treatment for Pompe disease was successfully achieved. We are all involved in, in trial, in trial design, in, in, in bringing patients to the trial, recruiting. We've been very helpful, I think, and instrumental in uh, getting the trial started as soon as possible. The collaborative efforts were huge. It was patient organizations, physicians, industry, also regulators. One of the first times or rare times that a patient has presented before that body and it, it changed that discussion from one focused on the cold and personal uh, statistical nature of reviews, which is of course important, but it, it reminded that group again of the human element. And the reality is that the patient voice must be a part of everything. It must be heard by the medical experts, it must be heard by the scientists, it must be heard by industry because everybody has their own perspective, but at the end of the day, it's our life. In the last 10 years, there has been tremendous progress in all the areas. It's not only the development of enzyme replacement therapy. There is also a tremendous progress in the management of the patient, the development of the different uh, techniques to evaluate the condition of the patient. Today there is much awareness, um, increased excitement amongst physicians to identify patients, to get them early so that we can treat them. And I have to tell you, this is really exciting for us in the United States. We finally have newborn screening which has been approved by the Secretary's Advisory Committee. So Pompe, perhaps more than any of our diseases, the registry is a critical component of this to understand over decades in a highly heterogeneous group of patients what the true natural history is. And this is a contribution that only, in many ways, the originator can provide. I don't know what the future will bring us, but if the future will bring us what, is, what it already brought us, the, past couple of years, the past 10 years, I'm quite sure that there will be an even better future perspective for Pompe patients. And that's what I'm looking forward to. I hope to be part of, of the next Pompe journey as well. What we need now is quicker access to therapy. We need patients to not have to go through a 10-year diagnostic odyssey. We need quick, quick diagnosis. Those are the three things I hope for for the future. Quicker diagnosis, access to therapy for everyone, and better therapy. Genzyme has decided to work on pompe disease years ago. That doesn't stop 10 years later. I really hope and I pray that these beautiful children, these wonderful adults who have continued to inspire us, who continue to teach us that we can make their tomorrow even better than what it is today. So my hopes for the future are quite clear. It, it would be a, a world where every patient um, who is affected um, by Pompe disease has the ability to be diagnosed at the first sign of symptoms or certainly uh, ideally in the case of newborn screening before symptoms even develop. We have incredibly strong families. Pompe disease is a hard disease to live with and seeing some of the children who have pretty very severe disabilities but are the strongest, most inspiring children you've ever seen. Spunky, full of life, you know, everything you would expect a strong little child to be is there. And watching them interact with the community and their parents and their families, it's, it inspires me every day.